guys, it's a beautiful morning in Central Florida, and today is a real exciting day. It's my favorite personal day I'm involved with my woodworking, and it's the day where I stencil a bunch of stuff, make a bunch of pre-cuts of the projects coming up. So I'm not going to be completing any projects today, but we're going to start a bunch. And since I'm already was going to do it, since I was already going to do it, I figure I might as well show the exact setup how I do a projector. And if you think you're not artistic and you can't do cool stuff with the jigsaw or anything like that. It's really easy to do. All you need is 70 bucks and if you already have a jigsaw you're good to go. I do need to shoot a better tutorial for it because the one I have is really long and kind of a pain. But let's go ahead and I'll flip the camera and I'll see what's happening. So that's my garage now. It's all organized and set up. I got my rigs now so now it's home gym, my woodworking shop. So normally this isn't here. What this normally is is just clean and some of the projects that I got going on over here I hang them up. I got my Volt Boy Nuka-Cola and most of my plywood stacks there but I just got a bunch of free plywood and so I need to cut it all up and get it all ready to be painted and so forth and I organized all my shelf. It's all nice and neat. I got my bike over here. I tried to keep in bikes in the corner there, but it wasn't quite right. And I like my bike right there. So whatever I don't use frequently is hidden by the bike. Whatever I use more, uh, whatever I use infrequently, whatever I use more frequently goes over here. All my tools are here. And so it's a pretty minimalist kind of workshop. Very clean. Both cars still easily park. And the reason that mats don't go all the way is because this is where I put my table. So if it's ever too sunny in the afternoon, or if it's raining, I can still pull the garage door open, sit right here, and not worry about dripping the paint on mats. Because when I painted the, he not the He-Man actually, the Tiger, actually spilled some of that paint. You can see some of those splatters over there. Because I kind of ruined my driveway. Not ruined, but I do need to pressure wash it. You can see the streaks and the splatters. So, all right, so this is my complex setup. My doodling chair, my laptop. And then the projector, and I do have two. This is my older one that I normally use. That's glitchy and it tends to shut off every once in a blue moon. So you gotta be restarted and projectors take a while to restart. So, and this one I just bought, there's a video from a while back, but I bought it so that to see, it was like $70, to see if it would be good enough. And also as a backup, cause I'm worried about this one constantly going out. And it's been glitching for two or three years and it just doesn't seem to die. And so then I have my table, I lean against the upright. Usually I do, did it against the wall, but now with the uprights there, that works. I do have J-cups for these, that for squats and bench press and stuff like that, but it's a squat day at the gym today, so I can't borrow them, so I'm going to be using that. And then the bigger wood I'll put on a crate, I just leave on the floor. And so that's all there really is to it. It's real simple. All the, my little accidentes over here where I cut into the table, it actually holds my wire really good, otherwise that pops out but that's all it really is let's flip the lights off and we're gonna see how this looks so the lights are off projector is on and we can see the image there this is just the generic some kind of background on windows but you can see how much of a screen it throws from about I think this is about 12 feet away give or take so if we were to use the little guy the the it actually would probably be from about Nuka Cola and a bit lower. So it would just be a bigger screen. It wouldn't be as clear. And the phone kind of doesn't do it quite justice, but it does look pretty clean. Obviously, we're not projecting over a nice screen or nothing like that. But now we can just doodle whatever we want to doodle. You find the image you like. So I got the map of the US we're going to start off with. These are hugely popular and that's generally what I kind of, if I want to sell something, that's what I sell to fund all the projects I actually do want to do. And so obviously it's not perfect here and it's a little harder to move around. So you can get some kind of a free, uh, what do you want to call it? Photo editor software and whatnot. I do still have my really old Russian Photoshop that I came to America with like 15 years ago and I had it a year or two before that so I can resize it a little better and you can see I got the tape so it needs to be three feet large so I just can adjust it here. Projector, a little fancier one, it has a little bit of a zoom you can adjust the size. This one doesn't have it, it's just going to adjust the angle that it shoots at. But if you're just woodworking or watching some kids movies on the garage door or somewhere outside it really doesn't make too much of a difference. So then. It's projected here. I made it just a little bit larger. I know where it's going, so it's okay if I make it a couple inches bigger. Uh, otherwise, it wasn't fitting on this done and groove board quite right. So, and then we've got two options here. We can either use a Sharpie or a pencil. 
So depending on the situation, if you're painting something black, then sharp is fine. If it's going to be lighter color, then a pencil is better, because then the sharp is going to come out quite as easy and you're going to kind of battle that out. But we just stencil it out, and that's pretty much it. It takes no time. It doesn't have to be too precise. And if it's done in the groove, then the jigsaw goes through this like so easily. That's it. First piece is done. We can double check to make sure we didn't miss nothing, but this one I've done so many times. So now we're gonna do a vault boy. I mean, I already have one and I have another one at the gym. But this one's pointing in the other direction because that's gonna be the one for my porch. And so even if you're not artistic, if you have a projector, you got the image, so now all you gotta do is just trace it. So I'm gonna use the pencil on this one. I love it, it reminds me of my dad. And since, since it is Father's Day coming up, this one's kind of for me. Because since I hung the Nuka-Cola sign outside, I really like it, so we need a Volt Boy to match. So since we're already here, this is something really easy to do. This is Alabama right here, so no real tricks here, just a real simple map of Alabama. I'm gonna cut it first and then I'll cut it into separate boards to make it extra nice, stain it for the whole nine yards, burn it. But this will be a nice little easy rustic map. So this is the kind of stuff that the projector is really perfect for, you know, random things. I mean if you know if you were to just do states of the whole country and by the time you'll do whatever many states you want you'll be able to I mean people will probably put orders in and people will want this stuff and they'll pay for the projector and so on and you're gonna deal with any copyright issues or anything like that. And I mean you wanna to go to the fairs and whatnot. It's not the most original thing in the world but it's really easy to do. Alright so next up we got ourselves Arnold. This is not even a silhouette, this is just a picture from the pumping iron. This is going to be a present to one of my longest standing members in the gym as a Father's Day gift. And my dad was a huge fan of Arnold. He always wanted me to work out. And then he passed away when I was 17. And funny enough, now I'm in the gym and work out all the time. So, but let's go ahead and stencil this guy out. Hopefully nothing will snap. This is a pretty old piece of plywood that I got. I think it'll be okay though, it's just a black piece. Look at that though, neatly slotted itself back where it's supposed to go. But let's try it again. So this one's going to be Princess Mononoke, or however you pronounce it, for another for the son of a really good couple that come to the gym all the time. We talked about it like six months ago and I have some scrap wood so we're going to do this one. Uh, I projected it sideways and so you see me the same as somewhere over here, I don't know if we can even see anything. Yeah there you go, where's the face? There it is, there you go. So, but I'm gonna stencil that out and I think that's the last doodle I gotta to stencil today. So, I'm gonna get tired, I wanna cut some stuff, so let's do that. Pieces are stenciled, all that, all that. So, I gotta clean up the table, get rid of the computer and so forth, and then put my table outside there. I don't have a whole lot of shade left, so I might even put the table further out, but I'll start cutting, prep it, and see what we can do. Tunes of man glitter over here. I'm like salt bay over here. Just so let's see what we made today. So a couple hours later, I got two Alabama states. I got Arnie and Monique actually really likes this one, so she told me that I need to make one. I should have cut the letters out on a stencil and sprayed it over instead of cutting it individually. But live and learn. I'll probably make another one for her. The Gators logo looking sick. The Vault Boy. It doesn't even look that big, but it's absolutely enormous. And then this thing just puts a smile on my face. I always forget the name too. You see me the same. And 
I don't even know what to do with this, but it was just, he's kind of has the, I think the orange moustache, so it matches the whole outline, so that's the only main reason I kind of making it. And also the shape of the hat covers up the 5 MPH, so when I was looking for something to do, like that came up, I didn't even know what he was called, I just punched in the guy with the, the crazy guy with the pistols from Looney Tunes, and so that came up. And then the Princess Mononoke had this thing which I didn't notice, it was like a filler on the plywood so I gotta have to, I cut the spear off and I'm gonna cut out the new piece out of whatever you call it, and like a half inch ply and so I'm gonna put this over but it'll make my life easier because I'm gonna burn the back, I'm gonna stain it because it comes out kind of bluish and I have this greenish bluish tint and the pattern here is pretty sick so I think the stain will look really good and if it doesn't look good I'm gonna paint it. So, and of course we got the classic, the Vault Boy. This one has the wood texture on it too, which I actually prefer. The one that I have is smooth. And I actually don't quite like that smooth texture as much. I prefer the, the wood grain pattern, so. But yeah, not bad for a couple hours and outside. I mean, obviously you can see that the sun is lawn covering the front yard. I just want to say, if you're not artistic, you know, you don't think you are, but you do have some jigsaw skill, and you do spend a little bit of money on a projector, considering the jig, the projector at $70 is far cheaper than most of the woodworking tools, and so you can start creating some really, really cool stuff, and, that, and it's pretty easy to do once you have a little bit of skill and so forth, and the art just comes out that honestly people just come to you and tell you all kinds of crazy things to make and half of it like you're like I don't know how to do it and I'm not interested and then little by little you start collect collecting kind of the skill of how to do it and next thing you know you can do it that's how it worked out for me and for me most of it so like out of these those two actually I have orders for and the rest of them was all for friends and family and so forth that just wanted like the Father's Day gifts for gators and the uh, what you call it, the Arnold and whatnot for really good friends of mine at my gym. And my dad again has passed away when I was only 17, so that's been now 19 years ago, so I can't make something like that. But the Volvo in that regard is for me, because if you look at some videos and whatnot, there's a video why I have that, and my dad used to be a nuclear bomb maker in Russia, so the fallout is all post-apocalyptic, so it fits in really well. And it's just such an up positive, upbeat character, I mean, just look at it. So now I'm going to have another one out on my porch and I already have one at my gym and I'm probably going to, I just like making them. I honestly will just put one in every room. I got to start diversifying my old boys and start making some new and different ones. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully that encourages you to start creating something. And if you're not that good with Jigsaw, you're not sure if you're interested in whatnot, pretty soon. I mean, fingers crossed when times are crazy. I'm going to make a how to jigsaw like Bob Ross video and it'll teach you how to just trace your hands and cut all kinds of cool stuff and also make uh, Halloween decorations out of all things for the future. But anyways, so great success. I'll see you next time. Let me know if I, there's anything else you're curious about. Bye.